Well, as we age, one of the first visible signs of change is our skin, and that is due in large part to a loss of collagen and elastin. So here to help guide us through to better skin from the inside out is skin specialist Dr. Julie Raya. <laughs> for talking to us about this uh, this important matter because we all want skin that looks good and the collagen mm -hmm. and the elastin is the thing that we should be focused on. Now there are a lot of things, uh, vegetables, fruit, vitamins that you can start eating at any age that will help you out. Right. So we're going to start from them and work our way down. Perfect. Right. So the aging is inevitable, but the good news is there's things you can do to basically prevent the loss of elastin and collagen and then protect yourself from, from certain aging factors and then even boost it. So right. we're going to review that today. Fantastic. So this all, all right. looks good. Oh, it looks really good about now. So vitamin C, um, these are all sources of vitamin C. So yeah. we know the citrus fruits are really commonly um, thought of, but also remember sweet potatoes and red peppers are great sources of vitamin C yeah. and that's actually necessary for building the tropoelastin in your skin and the collagen they're like precursors to actually building brand new collagen elastin so very important to have in your diet daily okay. we recommend 75 to 90 milligrams a day of okay. vitamin C. So what would that be about if like how many is that like 17 red peppers? <laughs> or? It's actually not so when we're younger of course we absorb everything better so yes. yeah, somewhere, somewhere in a region range of having your three to four servings of fruits of vegetable a day will absolutely get you there. Okay, that yeah. is doable. That is right? doable. <laughs> okay, so let's move uh, down the line right here. Where What are we getting from these? So something else that's critical to forming elastin and collagen is certain micro minerals, specifically zinc, copper, and manganese. And those are found in your leafy green vegetables. So we've got some kale and some other sources of leafy greens, but also pineapple and mushrooms. So mm. if those are in your palate already, then keep going with that. And if not, make sure you've got a good multi-mineral multivitamin yes. that you're taking daily to ensure that you've got sources of those microminerals. Okay, now what do we have over here? What are these things doing? So also for supporting collagen and elastin uh, production in the body, your microminerals. So these are examples of where you can find zinc, mm. copper, and manganese. So we have our leafy greens, our kale, uh, pineapple, and mushrooms. So if those are in your diet already, fantastic. If they're not in a regular diet, then a good multi-mineral, multivitamin is important to be able to have those cofactors to produce good elastin and collagen. Nice. And Everything. maybe you can do a mix of both, right? Absolutely. Like have the vitamin and have the, the real foods that are bringing it into your system. Sure. Now, we know nuts are good for you. What is it from nuts that you're getting that's going to help your collagen, your elastin? So we call them phytoestrogens, and those are the good guys, right? Yeah. So phytoestrogens are one that help in your overall hormone balance, but in particular, what's found in flax, Flax seed, pecans, cashews, and almonds is excellent for precursors to producing your own collagen and elastin and preserving what you have and keeping it rich. We know that the omega 3s and different types of oils really support skin. Mm -hmm. This is in particular uh, important for you to be able to kind of protect your own collagen and elastin and keep it going. Yes. So remember, that's all about tighter fitting skin. Yes. Yeah. So you need to, not tighter fitting jeans, tighter yes. fitting skin. <laughs> Thank you. So you need to sort of be doing a little bit of all of this. And if you're doing all of these things, they're going to help. Now, oh, what you do daily really counts. It, it makes truly, a difference. truly counts. Now, when it comes to trying to keep that skin feeling tight and looking tight, I mean, the sun is not necessarily your friend. You've got to not at all. It. I mean, unfortunately, we need to produce vitamin D. We need some sun exposure, but yes. over 90% of all aging of our skin is attributed to sun. Yes. Over 90%. 90, so that's 90% 90. Is, is preventable. Right. It, it's, right. A, it's a big message. So we know where to wear hats and sunglasses and slather with sunscreen and reapply. I think the SPF 50 is pretty much much considered the minimum if you're going to be in direct sun. That's all known. Yeah. But unfortunately, I think that we we aren't always kind of in the optimal position to wear the sunscreen or hat or, you know, because life goes on. And so we have to be as careful as we can. There is something that's a little bit of a, of a cutting edge uh, uh, possibility for people now and it's something called astaxanthin. Okay. Have you heard of this? Too? Well basically it's something you can take internally as a tablet or it can be mixed with maybe some omega-3 oil. You can find it out there. But it protects you from UVA and UVB damage from the inside out. It's oh. 65 uh, times more potent than vitamin C. So it's very interesting and it's something that people should become aware of and realize that they can add that to their regimen mm -hmm. for protecting from sun again from the inside out. Okay. okay? I like that. So um, 
count mm -hmm. that up. Finally, BioSil um, is something that you told me about uh, before we started mm -hmm. this segment. What is mm -hmm. that about? Well, BioSil sounds like it would just be hair, skin, and nails, biotin, or silica. That's not what it is. It's actually a interesting, one-of-a-kind patented ingredient from Belgium. But okay. most people have heard of it because Christy Brinkley takes it, and she advocates for this. <gasps> she hasn't aged in about 50 years. <laughs> the bottom line, though, is is to to research is 89% increase in elastin is oh, okay. produced by this actual compound. So yeah. what's interesting is it's promoting new baby elastin in your skin. Mm. So something wonderful to add into your regimen that you can actually use as your anti-aging kind of strategy, let's call it. Really good mm -hmm. information. Mm -hmm. Thank you so mm -hmm. much for that.